good night. Greetings to the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, uh, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of the world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends, uh, that God promised to be with us uh, in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every decision making, God promised to be with us. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Welcome to my God. Those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, on the street with your phone in church, in your office, God bless you richly, sincerely from my heart. I release a blessing upon your life and I pray tonight that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life. I release a blessing upon your life. I pray that God will will bless your homes, God will bless your marriage, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, God will bless your business, and whatever God will bless you on the job, and whatever you do, it shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I release prosperity tonight. I build a hedge around God's people tonight. I cover you under the precious blood, for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious, and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blacks, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curses, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every blacks, I break every evil and every work of darkness. Whom the sun set free is free indeed. You are free tonight. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. You are free tonight because Jesus Christ can set you free. And he is the only one who can set you free. But a thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. My friends, we must remember tonight that God says in his words, Healing is the children bread and the first covenant he made with man was a covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am he you are he we are healed in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name let's give him a big hand tonight hallelujah praise God is that awesome tonight that we are so Serving a healing God, a God who can heal, a God who hears and answers your prayers. And tonight, Jesus Christ is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Do you want deliverance tonight? Tell him tonight. Do you want salvation? Do you want healing? Do you want the financial blessing tonight? What the case may be tonight, uh, let him know tonight. Uh, he is on the main line and uh, tell him what you want tonight, my friends. Uh, he is not able alone to supply some of your needs, uh, but God is able to supply all your needs tonight uh, in Jesus' precious uh, and gracious and wonderful name. My friends, those who are sick tonight, uh, if you're listening to me tonight uh, and you're sick, uh, you're sick unto death, uh, and the doctors have given you a and say that the disease that is in your body the sickness that is plaguing you is unto death and there is no cure for you tonight he have given you just a few days to live but my friends are weeks but I'm here to tell you as a man of God tonight that you will not die you will not die you will live because God has not finished with you as yet you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful 
wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand tonight. My friends, if you're sick tonight and you have cancer, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, God can heal you tonight. If you're suffering with COVID and uh, RSV tonight or the flu that is hitting America tonight, uh, that flu that is spreading all across America, the USA tonight, uh, God can touch you and heal you and set you free. My friends tonight, uh, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, I want you to introduce you to the healer. If you're suffering tonight uh, with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, all the depression, all the pressure tonight. God can set you free from every pressure that you're facing tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, my friends and beloved, if you're demon possessed tonight and you cannot sleep in the nights and those demons are harassing you, yes, they're harassing you and you cannot sleep, you're pining away and those demons are controlling your physical body and there is nothing you can do. Tonight, I want to tell you, Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And demons have to go in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, I command those evil spirits to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. They will have to leave. I command them to go right now in Jesus' name. My friends, you will have sweet night rest tonight. You will have sweet sound sleep tonight. And those the others tonight uh, my friends I want to tell you Jesus says in his words uh, you will be healed tonight uh, yes my friends uh, for God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor to set the captives free to heal the sick uh, raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see tonight my friends uh, is your night uh, for victory tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for deliverance uh, to Tonight is your night for healing, and right now, wherever you are, I know God says in His words. We as preachers must lay hands on the sick and they should recover. But my friends, tonight I'm here to let you know that God is no respect of persons. There is no distance. There is no barrier. There is no limit. Where prayers is concerned tonight and where the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit, is this tonight, my friends. There is no limit to the anointing and power of God tonight. And wherever you are tonight, whether you are in the USA, you are in the UK, you are in Canada, you are in the Caribbean, or any part of the world, and you're listening to me tonight, I'm telling you tonight, God going to touch you and set you free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease in Jesus' name. Are you ready tonight, my friends? Are you ready for that miracle? Are you ready for that healing? Are you ready for that deliverance? Right now, in the name of Jesus, all you need is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to the mountains, Be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea, and they will obey you, my friends and beloved. That's all you need tonight. And right now, I'm going to send for the anointing in the name of Jesus. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. We said free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. My friends, this is the power of God, the Holy Spirit. I see demons are leaving bodies tonight. You will have some sleep and sweet night rest. Yes, those demons will no longer harass you in Jesus' precious name. Let's give them a big hand tonight. Yes, go back to the doctors and let them 
accept you. You are healed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, God wants to heal you. Yes, my friends, and tonight I want to tell you something. Be careful, my friends. Be careful tonight. Yes, my friends, who you tell your blessings to. Yes, be careful. Be careful, my friends, who you tell about your blessing tonight. Be careful who you tell tonight, my friends, because someone out there might want to destroy you. Yes, your blessings tonight, my friends. The Bible mentions enemies. Enemies and enemies are a real thing. Yes, do not be naive. Naive. Not everyone that smiles to your face is on your side. Not everyone that calls themselves your friend wants the best for you tonight, my friends. Don't be naive tonight. I really want to stress this point to someone tonight because so often I see people who are hurt by people's action and they end up blaming God for them being hurt when God has nothing to do with the situation. My friends that manufacture themselves, the Bible mentions enemies tonight in Psalms 23 verse 5. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 tells us tonight, my friends, what I say to you, love not love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Yes, do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use and persecute you. Yes, the Bible mentions enemies time and time again. Time and time again. Enemies are mentioned. My friends, it is naive to think that you don't have enemies. And that is something you need to understand tonight That you have enemies tonight my friends There are some people who will openly not like you or hate you And there are other enemies who smile to your face and stab you in the back. Enemies are real tonight. Jesus had enemies. Jesus had people who hated him. Yes, my friends, Jesus was a perfect man. All Jesus did was the good of others. People, there was not a mere selfless and perfect man that the Lord Jesus Christ, yet he had enemies. He had enemies. Jesus had enemies. But he was a perfect man on earth in flesh. We all know that you are not perfect. So what on earth makes you think that you don't have enemies? Then you have enemies tonight. Yes, my friends, some of your enemies you know and others you don't even know that they are your enemies. And yet they just, they just, they, that's just life. We live in an imperfect world. A a world that has jealousy, yes, a world that has envy and misunderstanding and human beings are complicated creatures, very complicated human beings are not like dogs, yes, dogs will either like you or not, and then, and then there are dogs that don't put a face on to pretend they like you, only to gain your trust and then stab you in the back but my friends humans do your do your blessings might be an encouragement for others but it might also be a reason for some people to hate you tonight let me say that again your blessings might be an encouragement for others but it it might also be a reason for some people to hate you tonight so yes testify about what god has done for you yes but in the process 
process of testifying you don't have to tell the ins and outs but every everything use wisdom when you testify about the goodness of God and in some instances when God blesses you the best thing to do is that shut up shut up my friends the world is evil the evil of this world supersedes supersedes and your imagination you will be surprised if you read the things happening in the world today you will see that it's not everyone you can trust. God looked down on earth and saw evil in every corner. Yes, my friends, the Bible reveals this to us. It reveals to this to us as Joseph's brothers hated him, dreamed that he had and his brothers were gathering sheaves on the field and suddenly the sheep, the sheep stood up right and others, the sheep stood up upright and were bowing down to him. Yes, in the second dream, Joseph saw the sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowing down to him. Joseph brothers understood the dream to mean Joseph was going to be their leader. One day, they, they therefore looked back for an opportunity to get rid of him. They did just that, my friends. But that's the amazing thing about God is that God has a way. God has a way of making even the evil actions of men and women work in our favor. Joseph eventually become a leader. Yes, my friends, who are you telling about your blessings tonight? Are you telling people who will undermine your blessings? Are you telling people who will mock your achievements? Are you telling people who are driven by the flesh? Yes, my friends, the Bible says the work of the flesh are sinful people who walk in the flesh are envious, they are full of jealousy, they have bitterness in them and they are full of hatred my friends, you cannot keep friends who do not reverend God and think they will praise God for your blessings tonight, you cannot keep friends pushing you away from God and think they will celebrate your blessings you cannot follow people full of evil and believe they they will not plan evil against you when God blesses you before you start thinking of telling your friends about blessings observe them closely what are they filled with are, are, are they filled with envy are they filled with jealousy my friends, you must know if they are walking in the spirit or in the flesh. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 through 21. King James Version tells us, Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these, adultery, fornication, my friends, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idol, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, my friends, variance tonight emulations, rot tonight, strive, strive seditions, my friends, heresies, are one envies, murderers, drunkenness tonight, rivalings, and such like of, of, the, of the which I tell you tonight, before as I have also told you, which when in time pass, and they which do such things shall not, shall not inherit the kingdom of God, all these things the Bible mentioned are there manifesting in their lives, examine closely tonight my friends, to know who they belong to before you open your mouth to tell them about your blessings. Samson made a mistake in the Bible. He told the secret of his powers to the wrong person. He allowed lust to lead him and refused to listen to the advice of his parents. He told Delilah a big secret, making 
marking the beginning of his end. Samson, who was a great man, my friends, died with his enemies. Yes, before he died, they arrested him because his powers were going, was, was gone. They plucked out his eyes. Samson's life became become terrible if he had learned to shut his mouth and not speak about the secrets he will have ended ended the way he will have ended that he ended badly but if he had carefully chosen the right persons to be with in the life it Samson ended tragically don't make Samson mistake in your own life tonight not the Samson didn't see the signs that Delilah wanted to destroy him she asks for the first, second, and third time before he revealed his secrets. Samson saw the signs that Delilah wanted to destroy him by taking away his powers, but he ignored them. He ignored them. Perhaps you have been the sign. You have seen the sign that the people around you don't mean well to you, and you are all also ignoring those signs. Don't make Samson mistakes mistake in your life friends that is what is happening to many people in a world today they have seen the signs that the people around them want them to perish but they still go and tell them about god's blessing god has helped them escape plots against them but the, but, but the people they call friends but they are still telling these same people about God's blessings Samson ignored all the signs and sold himself out my friends are you missing the clear signs some people are showing you that they are against you tonight you are ignoring the warnings that God is showing you about your friends tonight my friends be beloved please don't end like samson don't act foolishly by ignoring the signs god is showing you jesus wants to share with everyone tonight now he has saved you from the sin and how we can save them too anything outside of this my friends is nothing but gossip tonight jesus wants you to talk about the gift of salvation he wants you to talk about how you went from the path of hell to the path of life tonight and how he can get the same true, the same true him. Jesus did not want you to go to be bothering people about the number of cars you have or the number of deals you have closed. Jesus never said you should go and tell people about the number of houses you bought and that will never add anything to the kingdom of God tonight. My friends, what is important to tell people about salvation tonight? That is the only thing Jesus wants you to tell everyone. Go into the world and preach the gospel. Yes, my friends, tell people about salvation. Stop the gossip tonight. <coughs> Stop telling people about other people. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 and 15, King James Version, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? Yes, my friends, and what communion had light with darkness tonight, and what concord had Christ with, with Baal, or what part had he that believed within infidel tonight? You have no business with them tonight. Choose people who are for God. My friends, let God himself guide you to the right people tonight uh, nothing is more beautiful than surrounding yourself uh, with people filled with the Holy Spirit tonight uh, when your when, when your fire is burning low 
They refuel you and we energize, we energize you. They are the kind of people eager to hear God's blessing tonight for your life. So can God bless my friends. They are the ones who are praying earnestly that God bless you so that you can rejoice tonight. They are the right people you should be with tonight. Don't choose friends, my friends, using your emotion tonight. Don't qualify qualify people with their physical appearance uh, only let God show you who they are trust in the Lord to lead you <coughs> to the right people tonight uh, my friends uh, hallelujah praise God that God lead you to the right people there are people who will come into your lives uh, and try to destroy you but my friends that God discern to you tonight my friends it has been a joy and great privilege once again to be here this night to minister the word of God I love you dearly in the love of God do have a sweet and wonderful night rest I'll see you by the grace of God tomorrow night yes my friends have i see you there tomorrow night in jesus precious name hallelujah praise god god bless you again richly in jesus precious name amen and amen praise god thank you jesus